Welcome to the best of IFSA World Championships of Strongman Part 1 from the beautiful landscapes of Iceland. Hi again, everybody. I'm your host, Doug Anderson. We have a power pack show from the qualifiers. This is the best of the 24 athletes in the world. The best of every one of their feats of strength. Take a look at some of the beautiful landscapes of Iceland before we start with our competition. Of course, Iceland is a beautiful place. It has a wonderful contrast. It has big heat underground, very much cold. It has rough nature, very rough nature. So I think it also describes the Icelandic people. They are cold outside, warm inside, and they work hard. Iceland is a pure and clean place. Russian strongman Igor Pedan says it's beautiful and cold at Iceland, but the Blue Lagoon was nice. First time I've ever seen snow in my life. I love it here. It's a very beautiful country. Uh, the scenery is wonderful. It's a very unique place. I love Iceland. It's a beautiful country. It's the exact opposite of where I'm from. I like Iceland because this area same like my country. So far, I've loved Iceland. This place is uh, it's kind of a wonderland for strongmen. You know, it's a, it's a pilgrimage that every strongman should make once in his life. Well, there's two four-time champions that come from here. The only two four-time champions ever both come from Iceland. 24 of the greatest strongmen in the world today have all come to pay homage to Jean-Paul Sigmarsson's gravesite. The man they all want to emulate with four consecutive world championships along with fellow Icelander Magnus for Magnuson. He is well of four world championships. Each one of these men want to be crowned the king of strongmen, the IFSA world champion. But each man must go through the grueling events. Here is heat number one. It features men like Mikhail Kuklaev, Tommy Lota, Bendik Magnuson, and Nick Best of the United States. In heat number two, Blaketis, the big champion Zajuna Savikas, and Great Britain champion Oli Thompson are featured. In heat number three, we've got former champion Vasil Vereschuk, up-and-comer Travis Ortmeier, and Agnes Kazelnik. Farmers walk. The athlete has to carry 125 kilograms in each hand for 75 meters. This is about grip strength and endurance. Now we talk about the farmer's walk and how difficult it is for these men. The grip strength is a big key like Jamie Reeves just said, but it's also about mental toughness and it's also about knowing how to navigate the course. Making the turns is a big key. Nick Best is new to this type of an implement. We've got 125 kilos, 275 pounds in each hand for these guys. And I'll tell you something, all competition long, the men struggled with these implements. But Nick Best was able to put on a show and set a new world record in the 125K Farmer's Walk. Andrus Buttermitz held the former record of 50.07 seconds, but you gotta watch Best. He just flew through the course and set the record as he has a put down right before the end and still has time to knock off the record by more than two and a half seconds at 47.56 seconds. The American Nick Best came up with a superior effort in the farmer's walk. What a job all the way around. The athletes had a great time. Yeah, great feeling, great. I mean, this is only my fourth show as a pro. So I did my first show June 12th, I did my second show July 1st, qualified for nationals, went to nationals, and, and only made it to six there. So, I mean, I'm learning as I go. I power lifted for like 20 years. Big surprise, huh? Big surprise, and okay. the more I do, the more I learn, so. 
Truly, Nick Best was a surprise in the farmer's walk. Every competitor had a shot at the world record, but it was Nick Best of the United States who came out on top and shocked the crowd here in Iceland as well as his fellow competitors with a world record performance. He even topped his American counterparts and the world champion, Sadruna Savickas. What a job by all of these athletes. The block lift, lifting giant aluminium blocks overhead. This is about shoulder power and arm power. Now this event is very similar to the traditional stone lift that these athletes are used to. The exception is in the Alcan aluminum plant, these blocks are very slippery and balance is the key for these competitors. It's very difficult for the competitors to get them up to the chest and then be able to press it out. You see Padan in the background having all sorts of difficulty maintaining control. But Osokas was very good at 105 and moves on to the 115 kilo implement. It was Pedan though that really turned up the heat on Solius Brusokas. Once he figured out how to use the implement, and that was a lot of the key for most of the athletes, figuring out how to handle the implements properly, and then they were able to press it out. It wasn't about pure power, it was about balance, and it was about keeping your hands and your body in perfect position to maintain the weight. Here's the 125. Kilo 276 pound block for Brusokas. He could not do it, but Igor Padan shows he has tremendous upper body strength and he's able to come through with the 125 kilo implement. Look at that. Straight up and down as Dr. Douglas Edmund says, good lift. And Igor Padan ecstatic about that because he was the first one in a row of athletes that was be able to hit the 125 kilo implement, Brusokas was unable to do so. Very, very tough competition for all the athletes. I like press uh, this event new for me, for all guys. As we said, all of the athletes had a lot of difficulty hanging on to the Alcan aluminum blocks. They are very slippery, especially in the frigid temperatures here in the Alcan aluminum factory. These blocks are extremely heavy and very difficult to navigate from the chest to press them up. Balance was the key for every one of these athletes. Some succeeded where others could not. The deadlift with the Apollon's axle is a static strength movement. That means the athlete stands still. It's all about back strength and grip strength. Well, Apollon's axle is 705 pounds, 320 kilos, and this was a test of static strength to the maximum for every one of IFSA's superstar athletes. Vitas Blakaitis was no exception. Blakaitis uh, was one of the men that was able to rip out a number of reps, and that was really the difference. One extra rep separated a lot of these athletes by a mere three, four, five points in the standings, and that sent some on to the finals and some home a little early. Don't forget, only 12 men from the qualifying rounds moved on to the final event. Vitas Blakaitis was one of those 12 men by virtue of this Apollon's axle performance with seven repetitions. Last season on the IFSA World Championships, Russian Mikhail Kuklaev finished with the bronze in third spot. His determination to become a world champion is second to none in the sport. The giant Apollon's axle has been the downfall of many strongmen. The simple reason is the bar has absolutely no flex in it. Unlike a bar you would find in a regular gym, this is a massively wide bar. So it's very difficult to get the 700 pounds or 320 kilos deadlift from the floor. Misha Mikhail Kuklaev is one of the top three in the world at this event. Very seldom in the sporting world do you see someone go from the top three to number one overall, but Misha Kuklaev was certainly on a roll to try to do that.
We talk of the true mark of a champion. Vasil Vereschuk has been a world champion in the past. In 2004, he won the world championship. But deadlifting has never been a strong suit of Vasil Vereschuk. But he has taken it to heart and worked very hard over the last year and a half to become a better deadlifter. He knows that to be the best athlete he can be, he must work on the events that are not his best events. So for Vasil, putting up four or five reps would be a tremendous feat. In this one here, Vasil Vereschuk exceeds everybody's expectations. That's because he's able to get up almost five or six reps. He has has the ability to put his mind at ease and to sit back and say, I can do this. I have worked very hard at the static strength event. And now he will be putting himself in a position to be in the top two or three in the world. Vasil Vedasjuk knows what it takes to be a champion. And you can see right here, he's got four repetitions and he knows number five could be the difference of moving on to the finals easily or having to struggle to get to the finals. Great job from Vasil Vereschuk and the rest of the IFSA superstars. I'm happy. Five repetition. Uh, it's very good for me. <laughs> Thank you. Well, the Apollon's axle deadlift is 320 kilos and 705 pounds. For some athletes, it was tremendously difficult. For other athletes, it became a source of inspiration, an opportunity to take hold and move into the final 12, to move up in the standings. For some athletes, it was a chance to shine. Zadruna Savikis, Vitas Blakaitis, and Vasil Vereschuk all took that opportunity to move on to the finals by virtue of their performance in Apollon's Axel. The shield carry, 180 kilograms to be carried as far as possible. This is about endurance and stamina. There is the IFSA Shield, and there is one of the best in the world at the Shield carry. That's Finland's Tomi Lota. But the world record is held by Poland's Robert Chapanski. That's a true 100 meters. That is four laps of this 25 meter course. Igor Padan is the other participant in this one, but I'll tell you something, if anybody can top that record at 182 and a half kilos and 402 pounds sitting on your chest, it may be a guy like Tommy Lota. Lota was having a tough competition all the way around. He's been faced with injury all season long, and really this was an event he needed to shine at. Lota put on a great performance for the crowd in Reykjavik, Iceland. He came ever so close to breaking the world record. It was up to Shapansky to watch from behind the scenes as Lota mounted an assault on the world record. A tremendous effort put forth by the Finnish Beach Boy. You see it was Padan slowing down and he drops just at 75 meters. But coming up on the 100 meter mark, Tommy Lota drops at 96.1 meters, just 3.9 meters away from a world record. At 182 and a half kilos, 402 pounds, the IFSA Shield Carry is one of the toughest events the strongman sport has ever seen. It separates the top echelon of strongmen from the also rands of strongmen. Some guys can carry it for a tremendous distance. These are the men that have a great cardiovascular endurance, and these are the men that also have great grip strength that are able to hang on. If you want to go into strongman, you have to be a little bit crazy. You have to push yourself all the way. If, if you are going for 90%, you are not strongman. You have to be willing to give everything. Train until you puke. So uh, if you are thinking about going into strongman, you have to be really set for it. Don't be in a hurry to get somewhere. It's a slow process over time. I'm 38 years old, and I'm just getting here now, but I'm here. I would 
say be consistent and systematic and just keep on going month after month, year after year. Don't give up. Eventually things will happen for you. First thing you should do is start training in the gym to see if you have the potential to be both strong and big. You have to have a high body weight also because very important, uh, uh, strong legs and strong back. There's no tricks you can use in strongman events. It's all about strength, mental strength, physical strength. The only thing you can do to improve is to keep training harder and harder and longer and longer and hopefully not get injured. You gotta find it. very sensible training so you don't get injured because if you get one injury it usually turns into another and another and another after that so you want to be uh, very fit and, uh, and very wise in your training. If you're a beginner look and watch what the, what the old guys are doing they know all the tricks. The strongman had a chance to go to the original gym of Jean-Paul Sigmerson and try to figure out some of the tricks of what it takes to be a champion. The medley, it's all about agility and all-round body strength and movement for the athlete. And speaking of champions, there is the current world champion, Sojourner Savickas, to take on the massive Goodyear tire flip and, of course, the block load. Andrus Muramets of Estonia. This is a great pairing for both of the guys. They will push each other to the limits. 410 kilos and 904 pounds is what the tire weighs. Each athlete must have flipped the tire three times before moving on to the Alcan aluminum blocks. We talked about these blocks earlier on when they were pressing them overhead. They're very slippery and very tough to get a good grasp on. Mittermatt's at 120 with Savickas at 120. They go back in the 130 kilo one and Savickas has some difficulty.
this is the best of the IFSA World Strongman Championships Part 2. From the great landscapes of Iceland. Hi again, everybody. I'm Doug Anderson, your host. We've got some power-packed action ahead for you. These are the top 12 strongmen the world has to offer and some of their greatest feats. These are IFSA's final 12 athletes and superstars. Mikhail Kuklaev leads a list of six of the best. The final six have guys like Vasil Vedaschuk, the former champion, and Zadruna Savikas, the current champion. The crowd in Reykjavik, Iceland, went crazy as all 12 athletes came out from behind the curtain, including the current world champion, Zadruna Savikas, former world champion Vasil Vedaschuk and last year's podium finisher Mikhail Kuklaev. But it was hometown favorite Bendik Magnuson who took the crowd by storm. They were expecting big things from young 23-year-old Benny. The deadlift is the purest kind of strength. It tests every muscle in the human body. The giant barbell deadlift. For many, this is one of the toughest events possible. It tests every muscle in the body, but one of the best in the world is the man on the screen right now, and that is Mikhail Kuklaev of Russia. Technically, he is absolutely perfect. Straight back, straight legs, and perfect technique. Through seven and eight reps, Kuklaev was ripping through the competition. 10 reps was the world record set by Zadruna Savikas. That was number nine, but Kuklaev said he had a 10th rep in him. He takes a knee knowing he has a little bit of time to his credit. That's the true mark of a champion, knowing when to take a knee and when to go for the big repetition. The 10th rep goes up and puts him in a tie for the world record with the big Z, Zadruna Savikas. Did he have enough left for number 11? He gets it to the knees but cannot lock it out. And there is a difference between being able to get number 10 and number 11. But boy, Kuklaev always has a smile on his face. Then came the current world champion and the current world record holder in the giant barbell deadlift. He has 10 repetitions, much like Kaklaev. Perfect form. Zadruna Savikas is the epitome of true champions. He's always had the ability to rise to the occasion. Anytime somebody presses him and makes sure they come close to within one of his records, Savikas is there to step up his game one more level. At nine reps, he knows he's one rep behind what Kuklaev did. That could put him farther back in the standings, but he's able to tough out rep number 10, and then he looks down at the clock. Seeing there's only a few more seconds left, he looks at number 11 and says, you know what, this is a long competition. I'll save myself for future battles. The deadlift is deadly on every competitor. Some perform much better than others. Some become champions because of this discipline. Some become also rans because of this discipline. Farmer's walk is about endurance and especially grip strength. The heavy set of the farmer's walk is much different from the light set. This is about endurance. This is about the tolerance of pain. Andrus Muramets currently holds the world record in the heavy set. He lost his world record to Nick Best of the United States in the 125 kg light set of the farmer's walk. But in the 160 kg farmer's walk, he held the world record at 50.02 seconds. And in this run right here, Muramets was absolutely fabulous. Even with the put down after 25 meters on the turn, Andrus Muramets was able to pick up and endure the full 50 meters in a record time. Muramets put on an absolute clinic of how to run the farmer's walk and how to take the heavy set 
right through to a world record performance of 46.36 seconds. For some competitors like Serbia's Irvin Katona, it's an accomplishment just to finish the full 50 meters and a tremendous feat. New world record, it's very good. Well, the man who set the world record in the 125 kilogram farmer's walk was Nick Best. And Best thought, you know what? I have a shot at taking two world records home. But don't underestimate this equipment. It's extremely heavy at 160 kilos, 353 pounds in each hand. Bendik Magnussen, the hometown favorite from Iceland, was also in this event. And I'll tell you something, both of these guys put on a tremendous effort, but it was Benny Magnuson who made the turn first, and he came completely around before setting down the implements. Sometimes it was able, the ability of the athlete to tough out the hands, the shoulders, the legs, everything starts to vibrate. Every time they put down the implement, cost them that much more energy. And Benny Bendik Magnuson rose to the occasion for his countrymen in Iceland. Bendik Magnuson put on a show for the hometown crowd, and that's what everybody in Reykjavik came to see, was the young 23-year-old put on a show, and indeed he did, giving his best performance possible. As I said, not everybody is able to finish in the heavy set of the farmer's walk. It's only 75 seconds over 50 meters, and not everybody can complete it. And these two men exemplify what it takes to be champions. It's, it was good. I mean, it's the first time I picked that particular setup, so I'll get better with it, but I, uh, Spend a lot of that deadlift. The heavy set of the farmer's walk implements has been a struggle for many of the athletes. Some, like Andrus Murmets, are able to set world records at 46.36 seconds. Others, just happy to complete the course and pick up their points. For most men, it's about winning. The log lift, it tests shoulders, triceps, and upper body strength. This is the log left for max weight. Vasil Vereschuk of the Ukraine has tremendous pressing power in the shoulders. The only thing that can stop him from becoming the best in the world at this may be the world champion himself, Zajurna Savikas, at 190 kilos. It is Vereschuk pressing it out and looking off to the competition, seeing if anybody else behind the curtain can come out and match that massive performance. But the big man, Zajurna Savikas, had matched it and exceeded it with 195 kilos. Then he assaulted his own world record of 202 and a half kilos, moving the pounds to 215 kilos, 474 pounds, but he was not successful on this day. Still walk away as the winner of the event. The IFSA steel log for Max Wade. The difference in this can be cat and mouse. How much can you press? Can you do more than the next guy? Well, Venischuk almost took down the world champion. This wheelbarrow is very, very heavy. This will test the athlete's grip strength as well as endurance. Endurance indeed, Jamie Reeves. These big Toyota pickup trucks weighing 300 and 75 kilos, 827 pounds. It's a 25 meter course. That's 82 feet down the course. You have to lift it up and walk the pickup truck the length of the course. Mikhail Kuklaev was absolutely stunning in this one. Kuklaev had a great time as one best of the competitors and actually was trying to set the best mark on the day, crossing the line. All sorts of difficulty though as he fell to the ground for Ollie Thompson on the red pickup truck. Thompson looks over and he is having a whale of a time trying to get the red pickup truck moving. It was a tough day all around for him and for many of the competitors with these big Toyota pickup trucks.
But a time of 17.64 seconds for Mikhail Kuklaev has left him singing the praises. Others like Ali Thompson were not as happy. Well, I've never done that event before. For me, it's very tough. You can, it's a heavy lift. You get your body straight. And as you step, it's very wobbly. It's very hard to keep your body in a straight line. Thompson finished with a distance of 9.15 meters. Then the treat for the fans here in Reykjavik, Iceland. The two biggest men on the planet. Sajuna Savic is the current world champion. Former world champion Vasil Vedasjak. These men would put on a show to end all shows. Two of the fastest men down the course. Watch these guys go neck and neck down the course. Vedaschuk is one of the best in the world at this event. Oh, any wheelbarrow hold, you'll watch Vasil. Tremendous grip strength, but he also moves like a gazelle, as does the big man Zadruna Savikas. How happy was Vedaschuk? He was ecstatic. <laughs> Uh, some events good, some events not so good, but all the results not so bad. So I'm lead. It's... Well, Vasil Vedaschuk says, to be honest, I thought it would be a little easier than it was, but God praised that it turned out as it turned out. So for some men, moving the massive Toyota pickup trucks was a task in itself. For other men, they were able to fly down the course. Vitas Blakaitis, Sojourna Zavikas, Vasil Vedaschuk, and of course, Mikhail Kuklaev all completed the course in lightning quick time. Uh, the camaraderie is unmatched in any other sport. You know, the guy that you're about to go head to head against is going to be your number one fan rooting for you the whole way down the track. You, know, you don't find that with any other sport. Lithuanian Solis Brusoka says when man overcomes itself, when he is almost dying and he's still going, going, that is the same time scary and amazing. Rusokas also went on to say, if you have no mental strength, don't get close to the weights or you get injured, that's for sure. Any kind of strength starts with the strength of your mind. Discipline and the self-discipline is like ungodly important. If you don't have, oh, because, well, let's go out and drink beers, and let's go out and do this, and let's go out and do that. You, you, at some point, you're going to go, no, I can't go do this because this is what I want to do, and that will keep me from doing what I want to do. The deadlift hold is about static strength and pain. Who can go through the pain barrier? Up to this point in time, a lot of the competitors had all sorts of difficulty just getting these massive Toyota pickup trucks off the ground. 375 kilos, 827 pounds. Irvin Katona and Solis Brusokas going head to head in this competition. And both of these men put on a great show and gave it everything they could to the crowd here in Reykjavik, Iceland. Katona, a good job to block out the pain. Look how far apart the hands are for these competitors. They go through the 30-second barrier 
and the hands are a good three inches away from the body. So you have to have tough shoulders and you have to have very good grip strength to be able to hang on. Katona puts down just past the 30 second mark. Then it was Solius Brusokas hanging on for as long as possible. Brusokas was the first man to assault the 60 second barrier. And this was a true feat coming in at 50.5 seconds. And there is the camaraderie we talked about as Irvin Katona shows sportsmanship and helps his fellow man back to his feet. This is probably a personal record for myself. I've never done this event before as good as I have here. I gave it everything I had. Now, after watching Vitas Blakaitis of Lithuania post a time of 76.9 seconds and Zydrunas Savickas matching him step for step at 78.65 seconds, it was up to Vasil Vereschuk and Mikhail Kuklaev to set the crowd on the edge of their seat. Both of these men put on a tremendous show here in Reykjavik, Iceland. A true show of strength, a true show of stamina, and a true show of willpower. Once again, look at those hands. They are separated from the body. All of the weight sits in the hands and on the shoulders of these athletes. Tremendous concentration from both of these men. Koklaev, staring straight ahead, Vereschuk. Alex to look straight down at the floor. Kuklaev and Vereschuk do a great job of breathing, making sure that they get oxygen to the muscles and concentrate on the task at hand. These two men set the standard and set the bar for all others to come in the Toyota truck deadlift hold. They come up on the 60 second barrier and look at them. Neither man is shivering. Neither man is shaking. Kuklaev starts to breathe a little harder, but Vereschuk matches him breath for breath, second for second. These men put on a tremendous effort. Vereschuk and Kuklaev would come right down to less than one second apart before they were separated. And it was Michel Misha Kuklaev who dropped the implement first at around the 86.05 second barrier. Vereschuk then dropped at 87.83 seconds. A big effort.